Rademacher from XCP in Brooksville, Florida. We're going to show you how to retrofit an ancient ice machine. This particular one was out of order and we put it in order in less than 30 minutes. I'm going to do is take you through the steps of what we did. Coming over here to the machine, what he had was an old um, bill acceptor, coin changer, and a pile of circuitry. I mean, it's a wiring nightmare. Now, coming around here, here's what we did. We went to the control panel, and real simple, we went to their control relay here, which is powering 220 volts, and I disconnected my incoming and outgoing. I connected to our incoming and outgoing for 220 volts. So we're powering our controller here and the bill acceptor and the credit card terminal off of their original power. A real simple, it's only four wires. Well, I should say six wires because we got of our grounds. So we got everything grounded. We're passing 220 volts into our control module here and out. Now, the little terminal here has six prices on it. You can pick whatever you want. For example, I'm going to purchase one dollar worth of ice. Please present your card or your mobile phone. Now I've got a bypass, so it takes either cellular phone or credit card debit cards. I'm going to use my bypass card. Authorizing. Now, thank you. This particular location wants to operate with a push button. So they only want the ice to come out when you press the button. It's running a time cycle of 13 seconds, which gives you 10 pounds of ice. If I would have pressed the other one, for example, for $2, I want 20 pounds Please of ice. Present your card or your mobile phone. Same thing. I make my payment. Authorizing. It starts counting. Thank you. It'll now run for a total of 26 seconds. So I can have six different prices and six different times on my system. All powered by the XCP controller board. Ends my video.